Hi, I'm John from BD, and today we're going to start body working some panels for the Celica. <sighs> anyway, this is episode nine. Hi guys, welcome back. Here we are with the Celica doors removed. These were removed because uh, we wanted to reduce the weight of the vehicle when it was on the uh, spit. So while they're off, I might as well get a bit done to them. Um, as shown before, you know, the car has, a little, has had a little bit of accident damage and this has been a replacement door. As you can tell, it was a grey door and it was a grey door a couple of times and then someone sprayed yellow primer on it and it's become black. So, um, obviously I've detrimmed the vehicle, detrimmed the doors, uh, sanded everything back, done a couple of repairs, just little ones. There was a little bit of a very slight thing there. And what I'm gonna do here, well, it's, there's more on this one. Um, what I'm gonna do on this, because there's so many different layers of paint, I'm gonna seal it all in with some polyester. And then I can block it back because even though that feels really smooth, the primer will sink into that over time and you will start to get sinkage and you'll see the different layers. So if we seal all that in and then re-block it, we'll be fine. Now, as we showed before, there was a bit of an issue here where I don't know what had happened, but it all filler was bubbling up. So as I showed before is I basically had to cut all this out. This, is, this, was, met, uh, this was all rusted put some new metal in, weld in. I welded it a bit shallow because you're never going to get it perfect. And I body worked it on top. Uh, it looks a little bit messy, but it's absolutely solid. And then um, that'll be ready for top coat because obviously there's a lot of pressure on here opening and shutting the door and it's got to be right. So mix some polyester spray filler up and we're just going to literally spray it just over the repair. So just over this repair, this repair, and this repair. Right, let's get it done and then we can block it back, get ready for primer. So I've got my polyester spray filler all mixed up and in the gun. Look at the size of a needle on that. Okay, this is a really, really thick product. Imagine it a little bit as a, maybe a thin down body filler, yeah? And what I'm doing with it is, is I'm not using it as a filler in a way, I'm using it more as a sealer to seal in all those old layers of paint, but it's so thick that then I can block it down. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll try and record a bit of it and I'll record a little bit of how thick it is so you can see it. And I'm probably just gonna get one wet coat on it. Uh, not only because I think that's right, but I've only got this much left. So that's what I'm doing. Hey, right. See how thick it's got on, and here as well. And now we're going to do this. Hopefully we've got enough. I've got a little bit left, so I'm going to do some on here. So, you can see how thick that polyester spray filler is. 
not just from the size of the jet you need and the gun to fire it out, but also the pressure you need, you need a lot of it, and also how slow it goes on. Now, you can thin it down with special polyester thinners, which is great, and it'll spray on a lot easier. Spray on a bit thinner, but spray on easier. But what you'll find is, where we were covering up all the different broken through layers of old paint, which is on the door, if you put thinners in that polyester, or if you spray thinners on it too much, what you're gonna get is, you're gonna end up with all those different layers reacting with each other and crinkling up. So when you're trying to seal anything in, try and reduce as much as you can the amount of thinners you're gonna spray on anything. Now, if I didn't need a high build on that, I probably would have used an epoxy primer because that's just like spray glue and it seals everything in. So there's my bit of advice for painting today. Try and avoid too many thinners on a panel, especially when you're trying to seal things in, all right? Right, okay, it is the next day and I have blocked down the polyester spray filler. I put on the doors and we're ready for priming. So priming wise, what I'm gonna do is, here's the back panel here, it goes just above the rear bumper. I'm gonna put uh, one good layer of epoxy on to seal everything in. The epoxy does uh, two things. Number one, it's gonna seal all the repairs and stop any shrink back. But number two is uh, you use epoxy on any places where there's bare metal. Okay, you used to use acid etch primers, but we use epoxies now. So that kills two birds with one stone. Seal it in and treat all the bare metal bits. And we'll let that flash off, give that 15 to 20 minutes and we'll get over it with some black primer, okay? Okay, so we've got epoxy on the doors. They look nice, they look straight. Now, we're gonna hit it with a black primer. Now, normally we'd use a filler primer to um, put it on really nice and thick to cover any repairs and then we can block it afterwards. But because we've already used a polyester spray filler and a lot of the repairs are, say, 80 to 90% there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, th uh, the primer on a little bit thinner, a little bit wetter and let it flow out a bit then we won't have to go quite so hard when blocking it. We can probably get away with just a 600 or an 800 block rather than like a 240 or a 320 first. All right, let's hit it. Right, okay, we're gonna paint these panels. I've got three coats of base coat already on them. They're looking nice and they're looking smooth. Now we're gonna hit them with a clear coat. It's quite a cold day, so I've heated my clear up and we're gonna do what's called tack and whack or grip and rip which is gonna be one medium wet coat, go round them all, and then straight away, one big heavy coat. So we're gonna move fast, and we're gonna get a great finish, fingers crossed. Let's roll. Second coat of clear, let's do it.
So, there we are. Those bits are painted. The body's nearly ready for prep and paint, which is good. The sun is shining. Lockdown is easing in the UK. That means the pubs are opening. That means I can go for a pint if I want to sit outside and freeze to death. Uh, also, I get to see my little girl again because I've been shielding for God knows how long. There she is, there she is, there she is. So I get to do dad duties again, which I can't wait for. Um, so I'm a bit happier. Everyone's happy. I want to give a big, very big shout out to uh, apparently one of my big fans, one of our big fans would be the Auto Body. And that's Gary from Dundalk in Ireland. Hiya Gary, how are you doing? Had an interesting conversation with your mate Peter the other week. And um, you hang in there mate, you're doing a sound job. I believe you're life and soul of the party no matter what's going on. And that's how we like it. And hopefully when I get the car finished, I might be able to have a bit of a road trip to Ireland and come and see you guys. Because apparently you're absolutely Salika buffs, aren't you? Nuts about them. So... You take care of yourself, Gary. Uh, I'll be in touch. And to everyone else, take it easy. I'll see you next time. And I think next time we're going to be painting the suspension components. Nice one. Right, see you later. Take it easy. Bye.